distinguished chairperson in office, your excellencies, heads of delegations, ladies and gentlemen. At the outside, I'd like to express my gratitude to the OAC chairperson in office and Prime Minister of Albania, His Excellency Mr. Edi Rama, for convening this ministerial. We sincerely congratulate and wish every success to newly appointed the OAC Secretary General, Ms. Helga Maria Schmidt, a High Commissioner of the for National uh, Minorities, Mr. Kairat Abdrahmanov, representative on uh, freedom of media, media, Ms. Maria Teresa Ribeiro, and director of the Bureau for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights, Mr. Matteo Mekachi. In this regard, we acknowledge the great efforts of the Albanian cha chairmanship through the whole selection process. Today's OEC forum, which is taking place in the conditions of the pandemic, reaffirms the unique role of, the, of rep responsibility of our organization in ensuring the comprehensive human security and developing the adequate response to modern challenges. The past stage in the fight against the pandemic and its consequences has clearly shown the importance of close international cooperation and mutual and the multilateral approach to overcoming common problems. The global nature of pandemic crisis requires a global strategic plan of action. In this regard, President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, His Excellency Mr. Shavkat Mirziyoyev, proposed to develop the International Court of Voluntary Commitments of States during pandemic, which will set out measures to ensure effective collaboration among countries in such emergencies. We look forward to the support of our initiative by the OSC particip participating countries. Distinguished colleagues, today Uzbekistan has decisively entered a qualitatively new stage of its development where the most important task is the transition uh, uh, from national revival to national prosperity. The OSC institutions play a distinctive role in promoting the implementation of the reform agenda. A new and democratic image of Uzbekistan is being created in the process of modernization of the state, strengthening the protection of human rights and freedoms ensuring the rule of law. The political active of the population and the parties, uh, the role of civil society, institutions and the influence of the mass media have significantly increased. The national human rights strategy is being implemented. The role of women in uh, public administration and the economy is being strengthened. An anti-corruption agency has been established which has allowed to raise efforts in this uh, direction into a qualitatively new level. Uzbekistan pursues an open and constructive foreign policy. Uh, it's aimed at uh, turning Central Asia into a region of stability and prosperity, ensuring regional security and strengthening friendly relations with its immediate neighbors remains as the main foreign policy priorities of Uzbekistan. Thanks to the initiative of the President of Uzbekistan, His Excellency Mr. Shavkat Mirziyoyev, the regular consultative meetings of the heads of Central Asian states became the region's common achievements. The prospects for stable development in Central Asia are closely linked to the achievement of peace and neighboring, in, in neighboring Afghanistan, which is the OAC partner for cooperation. Uh, Uzbekistan participates uh, actively in supporting and promoting the peace process in Afghanistan, contributing to the dialogue between the parties and implementation of important economic and infrastructure projects. We are firmly convinced that the Afghan problem must take an important place on the OAC agenda. Distinguished participants, the issues of supporting the role of youth in the development of uh, society, realization of its uh, intellectual and creative potential 
have always remained at the focus of attention and uh, uh, activities of the OAC in all three security dimensions. The President of Uzbekistan has put forward the initiative of adoption of the International Convention on the Rights of Youth. Uh, we reckon on uh, the support of our initiative by the OSC participating states. Yet another important issue directly related to the scope of the OSC activities, the influence of climate change on the human security. Today, every country experienced the uh, devastating impact of the effect, of this effect. Uh, unfortunately, these negative uh, trends also pose a serious threat to sustainable development in Central Asia. Due to drying up, the RLC has become the epicenter of an ecological disaster, the consequences of which are felt far beyond the region. On the initiative of the President of Uzbekistan, Shavkat Mirziyoyev, the concept of the creating of creating the zone of ecological uh, innovations and technologies in the RLC area is being promoted. We, in, uh, we invite uh, all OEC participating states to engage actively in, this, in, in, in its implementation. We attach uh, profound importance to the further development of the multi-partner trust fund for human security for the RLC region. We are grateful to our OSC partners, Norway and uh, Finland, who have contributed to this fund along with the European Union. We are confident that it will become a reliable platform for practical assistance from the world community to the population of the region. Ladies and gentlemen, Uzbekistan stands for further strengthening the OSC's role and uh, profile increasing its uh, relevance in international affairs as well as strengthening mutual trust of, sta of states in order to form a positive agenda for the organization. Further ensuring the effectiveness of the OSC is totally linked with full respect for the basic uh, principles and uh, commitments uh, enshrined in the Helsinki Final Act. In conclusion, allow me once again to express my gratitude to the Albania uh, Chairmanship for the productive uh, fulfillment of its duties in a difficult period for the entire in international community and wish every success to the incoming uh, Swedish OSC Chairpersonship. Thank you for your attention.